Hi, I'm Ed from More Music and MoreGuitars.com here in Southern Indiana. And um, we just got back in some core model guitars like this, the Studio 22. This is nice. This guitar has been out of the lineup for a little while, and it's great to have it back here. Um, it's big, always a big fan of the versatility of this guitar. You've got the 5815 low turn pickup in the humbucking position and two narrow field humbucking pickups here in the neck in the middle. Coil tapping, a five-way blade switch. Uh, I mean, just a such <laughs> such a diverse palette of tones to choose from. Paul's narrow field pickups are exactly that. They are a humbucking pickup that exert a narrow magnetic field, right? So apparently that's going to tighten up the fundamentals, uh, give you a tighter bass response. Uh, basically, you feature all the great things you like about single coil pickups, but in a humbucking uh, configuration that actually maybe gives a little bit more oomph. Uh, it's a unique pickup. It's something that Paul came up with, and uh, it's a pleasure to see them in, in, in some of his guitars like the Studio 22. Here's the neck position pickup in fu full humbucking mode. Now when I coil tap it, So I'm not really hearing the volume drop, but, but I am hearing the fatness and thickness that you associate with a, a, a humbucking pickup. That's with it out, now humbucking. Tapped. Subtle but effective. It's really exciting to have this guitar back in the lineup, uh, along with a lot of other core models that are arriving daily. It's really exciting to see some guitars that, you know, frankly, haven't seen in, in too long because of all kinds of things that happen around the world that we all know about. And uh, they're here, they're here. We're really excited. DGT, this is one of my favorite signature model guitars ever. And only because um, in my experience, signature, signature model guitars typically favor, you know, really the person whose name is on the headstock <laughs> besides the manufacturer. But such a playable guitar with such a distinctive neck carve. I love the way this guitar feels. And um, really a big part of uh, Mr. Grissom's playing is playing around with those volume controls and really letting the guitar dictate to the amp what it's doing. Uh, through a really, you know, elementary way, um, but it's set up just properly for this. You know, it's, a, it's just a great, you know, layout that I think reflects, you know, a seasoned, seasoned player. Um, beautiful top on this guitar, you know, signature pickups, very responsive. Um, obviously in a high gain application, it holds its own fine, but there's a, so much going on. Like, like so many Paul Reed Smith guitars, this is this a tone machine, and you're really only limited by your own imagination and your approach to playing. Uh, thrilled to have these back here in the shop. I need some more. Paul Reed Smith 
CE24, all right, this is the classic edition. It has a bolt-on neck, and it's a little bit different build from the rest of the line. Um, I had to get in some of that neck position pickup because one of the things with the 24 fret guitars is, you know, yeah, it doesn't have maybe as much throaty, low-end vintage sound in the neck position because of the pickup placement. You know, they achieve the same scale length by just moving this bound a little bit and tightening up the space here, but it sounds pretty throaty to me. Let's hear it clean. So good neck position tones, and here it is, coil tap. This guitar has the McCarty style switching, so you can really get that single coil neck in the neck position, which is, I get a lot of mileage out of, you know, maybe it's something a little bit less gain, but. I think you can hear. My point is that with a little bit different gain structure, you really get a very, very passable Texas blues tone with that single coil neck that you can get only with the McCarty style switching that's in the CE24s. Um, 8515 TCI pickups, you know, always Paul refining his product and his ultimate quest for tone. Um, also across the whole line with the C24s, you do have the pattern thin necks. That's something they started a couple of years ago. Uh, there are no options unless you want a private stock. So, um, huge fan of this guitar. Plays great, feels great as always, and thrilled to have them back here in the shop. This is a PRS S2594 McCarty. And uh, the S2 line has really grown over the past, uh, I think, what, 2014, uh, 20, somewhere, you know, somewhere in the past eight or nine years. And they're really, really good guitars. You know, these are guitars that are, they're manufactured in America, all right? So you do have uh, electronic wiring harness and pickups from the SE line, which I really always say is just a testament to the quality of the components in the imported stuff. Um, the playability is there, the features, advantages, and benefits in terms of functionality, anything that you could expect from a core model 594 in terms of functionality, it's here, all right? So you do have these uh, very familiar volume, volume, tone, tone, three-way toggle switch, single cut, you know, feel, right? And uh, the coil tapping functionality, and this is a guitar that really delivers the goods, I think, is exactly what Paul was trying to accomplish when he was making a guitar that was inspired by some great vintage pieces from our shared past. Um, love it, all right? S2, 594 McCarty. All iterations of the PRS lineup are finally hitting the doors. We're very happy to have them. Come check us out, visit us. Come to Southern Indiana, you'll love it. <laughs> or just give us a call here at the shop at 812-479-9595. We'll hook you up.